<laughs> I'm so sorry. But next up, we have my Disney Funkos. So let's get started with those. First off, we have Mickey. Of course, he was the very first Funko they ever created. And of course, he's just adorable. I love Mickey. I love Mickey. He's adorable. Everyone loves Mickey. If you don't love Mickey, there's a problem with you. But I mean, he just got his iconic costume on. And he's adorable. Uh, next up is, of course, Minnie. You can't have Mickey without Minnie, and she looks adorable. She's got a pink polka dotted bow and dress, and she just wants to give you a hug. She's so cute. She's so cute. There we go. And next up, we have Epic Mickey from the Epic Mickey video game series. And Epic Mickey doesn't look too different from regular Mickey, except he has a paintbrush. And his pants look a little bit different. That's all I've been able to tell the difference in. But yeah, I love Mickey. Maybe it'll pick up the paintbrush if I do this. I don't know, I can't see, like I said. But there's Mickey. My cat's watching me, she's very fascinated by this. There's Mickey. And here's Elsa from Frozen. I love Frozen, I sing the songs all the freaking time. But Elsa looks gorgeous, she's got her purple eyeshadow, her beautiful dress, and it's like translucent on the back with the cape. She's holding a snowflake, and she's got blush on her cheeks, and then if you turn her around, she's got the most beautiful braid that has snowflakes in it, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. She's seriously one of the prettiest Funko Pops, I think, in my opinion. Next up, we have Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is one of my favorite Tim Burton films. And Oogie Boogie is just an awesome villain. He's green, and he's got his dye right here in his hands. And he's just really awesome. He's really detailed. You can see the stitching on him. Like, in the movie, he's made out of burlap, so you can see his stitching. And he's just really, really cool. Next up, we have Beast from Beauty and the Beast, and he is so adorable. <sighs> so adorable, so handsome. Look at that outfit, very debonair, and the detailing is amazing on him. Then you flip him around, he's got his little ponytail, and that snazzy uniform again. But yeah, we got Beast. And, keeping with the Beauty and the Beast motif, we have Lumiere, who is really cool, of course, He's the tongue candle, and he's got his candlestick here as golden, and then he's got the flames, and they're really, really cool. They're translucent, and they're just ah, awesome. <laughs> I, I love Lumiere. I love Beating the Beast. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. But he's so well detailed and so unique looking, so I love Lumiere. And the last Disney Funko Pop I have is Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and that's my favorite Disney movie of all time. And Ariel is pretty well detailed. She's got her shell bra, the, a flower in her hair. Maybe the camera's picking that up. And then her tail is glittery. Probably won't be able to see that on camera, but her tail is glittery and she's just so beautiful. And of course she's got that gorgeous hair. Oh my gosh, I always wanted to have her hair when I was a little girl. I was so jealous of her hair. But yes, Ariel is so cute. And now we're moving on to some uh, uh, well, the two Hobbit Lord of the Rings figures I have. First one is this big six inch Smaug, who's one of my favorite pops that I own. But look at Smaug, he's so cute! But he does look like he wants to breathe fire on you and kill you, which is very appropriate. And I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's actually got the black scale that was knocked off of him from Bard, right there. But in the movie it's on the other side. But it's still really well detailed and he's so cute. He protects my video games in my room. But I love Smaug. Oh my gosh, Smaug is just amazing. Love Smaug. And then the last one in the Tolkien verse is Gandalf the Grey. This is the Lord of the Rings Gandalf, not the Hobbit Gandalf. And he's got his staff here. And he is just very wise looking. Just very wise looking. I love Gandalf. I pretty much love every character in Tolkien's universe. Bam! And the last few in this little row I have are my horror Funko Pops. 
And the first one is Beetlejuice. I loved Beetlejuice as a kid. I watched the movie and the anime TV show, and he's just really well detailed. Like, of course, he's got his iconic suit, and he's got his green hair, and then the green coming off, you know, like in the films and stuff. And he's just really well detailed. And this hair is amazing. It's just all spiky and amazing. And, oh, I love it. I love Beetlejuice. I think I've said it like three times now, so he should be appearing any time now. And next up is Ghostface from Scream, one of my favorite horror movie franchises of all time. And Ghostface is just so cute. He's got a little bloody knife and everything. Maybe the camera will pick up the knife. Pick up the knife. Pick up the knife. There's Ghostface. He's so cute. <laughs> You're not even terrified of him now. Like he's in little Funko form, so he's not even scary. But like you can't even see the uh, fraying on his sleeves. It's really, really cool. And next up, another one of my favorites is the Xenomorph from Alien, or Aliens, or whatever you want to say. But he's so well detailed. He's shiny all over. He's got the second mouth coming out. And he's actually pretty dangerous because his claws are so sharp on this. Oh my gosh. The claws are sharp. You can see his torso, the bones. You flip him over. He's got his tail, which is really sharp as well, where he would impale people through the stomach and stuff. He's just so well detailed. Oh my gosh. I love aliens and I love the xenomorph. The design of the xenomorph is genius. And the last horror Funko Pop is Sharknado. This one's really unique. Just the form, the shape of it is really unique. It's got a stand with just like ocean waves and then you got Sharky here with, you know, the NATO around him. I just love this Sharknado Funko Pop though. I love the films and I just love this Funko Pop. So detailed. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my Marvel collection, which is a little bit bigger than the DC collection. First off, we have Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's adorable. He's so tiny. He's got this big gun and he's like, Bash! and I just love Rocket. He's a bobblehead, if you couldn't tell. And next up, another one I love two pieces. It's Dancing Baby Groot, and he comes in a little pot. He's got like foliage growing out of his head. Sorry, my cat's distracting me. But he's really cute. What are you doing? Talking to my cat, sorry. <laughs> he's so cute. I want you back home, oh, baby. Give me one more chance. I love Baby Cruz. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just kind of mesmerized by him. <laughs> and now we have two X-Men ones. I need to get the rest of the X-Men because I'm a huge fan. First off, we have Mystique in her, you know, just typical uniform. She's got the skull belt and the skull thing on her head here. And she's the bobblehead. <laughs> and of course, she's got her blue skin. Beautiful red hair. And she's awesome. Next up we have Storm, again from X-Men, and she's really cool looking. She's got her beautiful uniform, the amazing hair. I love, I love, love, love Storm. And her earrings are lightning bolts, so that's really freaking cool. There we go, there's Storm. Now we're moving on to like the Avengers verse. We have Black Widow, Bobblehead, Natasha Romanoff with her twin pistols. She's really cute. And next we have Loki and the helmet they have on this uh, Funko Pop is so heavy it drags his head down. <laughs> this is awesome. I love that crown. Oh my gosh. He's a bobblehead but look it weighs his head down. <laughs> That's freaking awesome though. He's got his sword. Or dagger. Uh, that's a dagger, not a sword. <laughs> that helmet is making me laugh. It makes his head go a lot. Because it's so heavy. And next up we have one of my favorite superheroes, Thor. 
He's got Molnir in his hand, his awesome uniform, and his little Chris Hemsworth face there. <laughs> it's so cute. All the superheroes are bobbleheads, I've noticed. But yeah, I love Thor. And now we're moving on to some Funko Pops that are just by themselves. There's no other accompanying Funko Pops with them that I own. So first off is Ezio Alvatore de Firenze from Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations. He's my favorite assassin and those games were my favorite Assassin's Creed games. But he's really well detailed. I love the felt, the hidden blade, everything. And of course like the hooded, the peak on his hood. Love it. Now we have Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's my one of my favorite Christmas movies, and I just love Rudolph so much. It's so cute with his little red nose. He's just a little deer with a red nose. <laughs> There's not much to him, but he's really cute. And now we have my favorite Ninja Turtle, Donatello, with that beautiful purple mask, good purple outfit, and a bow staff, and. He's just awesome. I need to get his brethren, but I don't have them yet. Go ninja, go ninja, go! And one of my other favorite Funko Pops, the six inch Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Oh my gosh, he's so freaking cute! Look at that little face! <laughs> he just wants to give you a hug. He's got these rolls. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I love Stay Puffed. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> so cute. We have my last collection of Funko Pops that you're going, oh yay, this video is almost over. But first up, it's Wounded Daryl Dixon. He's got his ear necklace on, he's got an arrow going through his stomach, and of course the refrigerator had to turn on that moment. And he's got like a bandana in his back pocket. He's just awesome. Daryl's my favorite. He's all bloodied and bruised. And, uh, poor Daryl. But he looks badass though. So, gotta give him that. He's awesome. And here's regular Daryl Dixon with his crossbow. chopped off spoiler alert but he's just a little guy with the goatee and then he's got his of course little blade and hand there maybe I'll pick up my hand I don't know if it did or not there's Merle and now we have bicycle girl she's so freaking awesome like she's so gross and disgusting but she's cute at the same time but yeah, you just see her little head and she's like crawling. And you can see like her rib cage and all that stuff there. You turn around and you see her spinal cord. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute and disgusting at the same time. She's so little. Look at how little she is. <laughs> and now we have the RV walker. And he's got a screwdriver in his eye from when um, Andrea put it there to kill him. Which, if you haven't seen The Walking Dead, I just spoiled that. But he looks really cool. I love that the screwdriver's in his eyeball. And then you just turn around. Turn back. And I love how his mouth's all torn off. And yeah, awesome. And the last one to pop is the governor from Walking Dead. He's got the eye patch, his blade. He's got. I hated the governor, but I loved him at the same time. So this is my Funko Pop collection. So I wasn't like super enthusiastic. I was just trying to get through all these pops because there's so many. I hope you enjoyed the collection. If you collect Funko Pops, uh, leave a video response down below because I'd love to see your collection or just let me know which ones you have. Uh, favorite the video if you really loved it. Uh, share me as long as you did nicely. Remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe so you can see more videos of my random geeky self. And I'm gonna go. Peace and kisses.